What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about silver. More specifically, the spot price of silver being in that $22 an ounce range, premiums excluded, and the fact that it's going even lower. We are looking at a massive red day today. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos. Get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. Come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways, live streams, deal alerts, and a whole lot more. And of course, make sure to go and get your five free stocks by downloading Weeble, funding your account. If you refer two friends by the end of May, they're going to give you either a free share of Starbucks, Apple, or Google. Everything will be linked in the description. So today is Monday, May 2nd, 2022. The current spot price of silver, as I'm filming the video, is $22.12. It's down 63 cents or down 2.77%. Massive red day for the beautiful white metal. Spot price of gold is $18.57 even. It's down $39.70 or down 2.09%. A massive red day for the beautiful yellow metal as well. And of course, the gold to silver ratio is in the 82 to 83 to 1 range. But of course, that's as I'm filming the video at like 10 o'clock in the morning, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video, what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. So today, I wanted to talk about a couple of different things related to silver and the spot price of silver. I'm not talking about the premiums. I'm not talking about the grand total out the door price tag that we're paying for each individual troy ounce of silver. That should be roughly $4 over spot because of the average premium. But I wanted to talk about the spot price continuing to move in a downward direction. And I also wanted to point out some of what we have on screen right here before we really deep dive into the spot price. Down at the bottom, we have a nice little pile of 90% junk constitutional Washington silver quarters, which are pretty much my go-to right now as they've been for the last year and a half. At the moment, I stack them almost exclusively. I can't even remember the last time I picked up something that wasn't a Washington quarter. But we also have a Sunshine Bar, a Westminster Bar, an American Flag Bar. I love this thing right here because it's my two favorite things in one. It's America, greatest country on the planet, and silver, my favorite precious metal. And of course we have a five ounce Aztec calendar round and a couple of one ounce Aztec calendar rounds as well. Looks like we have a Scales of Justice round, we have a Peace Dollar round, a Sunshine round, a Hurricane Irma Relief Fund round, a Hurricane Harvey Relief Fund round, and a Silver Buffalo. Some of my favorite pieces of silver on display. Decided to mix and match it up this week, so this is what we're going to be looking at. But moving away from the silver that we have on screen, I wanted to talk about what we're going through right now because it seems as though we are currently experiencing an everything crash, or at least the very beginning stages of an everything crash. And the reason I say that is because for the last week and a half, maybe two weeks at this point, for the most part, we have been seeing almost everything continue to move in a downward direction. We're seeing red across the board almost everywhere. We see the silver and gold moving in a downward direction. I think it was two weeks ago I posted a video talking about the spot price of silver climbing up to $26 an ounce. And right after I made that video, it's been on a downward trajectory. It went down to 25, 24, 23, and now 22. And just by looking at the spot price today, $22.12, we're only a couple cents away from the spot price moving into the $21 an ounce range. Premium excluded, of course. Gold is down. The digital currencies are down. Which, by the way, for those of you who are wondering, the big five, the main five, the most popular five, at least to my understanding, not really the biggest digital currency guy, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Sheeb, Cardano, and Ethereum, Four out of five are in the red. The only one in the green is Bitcoin, and it's not really too dramatically in the green. We're looking at 
four out of five in the red. And friendly reminder, I know I've said this in the past, but for those of you who already have the Weeble app, if you refer a friend to the Weeble app and they go and enable crypto trading, Weeble's gonna give you $5 worth of a crypto of your choice. So if you're into the digital currencies, that might be something you wanna capitalize on. And that's $5 worth of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge, Sheep, or Cardano. You get to pick. So there you go. Link in the description if you're not already on there. But not only is it the precious metals, not only is it the digital currencies, but it's also the stock market as well. We closed on Friday massively, massively, massively in the red. We were down 2, 3, 4% when it comes to the S&P, the Dow Jones, and the NASDAQ. So I wanted to point those out really quick before we get back into the silver and gold because I have a little bit of a game plan when it comes to stacking. But first, let me just point out that the S&P is currently down Monday morning. 0.33% S&P is in the red. The Dow Jones is down 0.2%. Dow Jones in the red. And of course, the NASDAQ is down 0.3%. So the NASDAQ is in the red as well. We're seeing red across the board. Like I said, we're seeing red when it comes to the precious metals. We're seeing red when it comes to the digital currencies. And we're seeing red when it comes to the stocks. Now, really quick, before we dive back into the silver and gold, let me just remind everybody to go and get your five free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. If you refer one friend, they're going to give you 10 free random stocks for the referral as part of their advertising budget. And that's really time sensitive, by the way. You only have a couple days left to do that. And if you refer two friends by the end of the month, they're going to give you either a free share of Starbucks worth 70 something dollars, a free share of Apple worth 150 something dollars, or a free share of Google worth over $2,000. It's random, but you win no matter what. We will link in the description. But now moving away from that, moving away from the digital currencies and the stocks and Weeble and all that, let's get back into the silver and also the gold, which by the way, I have a little bit of gold over here on display as well. But I wanted to talk about silver really quick because something that I noticed, obviously with spot price moving in a downward direction and the average premiums since probably mid 2021, I would say I've been about $4 an ounce over spot. That's what the local coin shops nowadays are charging. There are a few in my area, and I've talked to a lot of people, believe me, have, I don't know how many subscribers this channel has, I think like 18 or 19,000 subscribers. I've talked to a lot of people. I receive a lot of comments from a lot of people all over, all over the place, different cities, different states, even a lot of different countries. Sure, some people say that they're able to get silver very, very cheap. Sure, some people say that they're being charged seven, eight, nine dollar premiums. But those are the outliers. The overwhelming majority of people that I have conversations with say that they're able to get silver nowadays. And I'm talking about standard silver rounds and bars and maybe some 90% silver. Average premium, three, four, five dollars over spot. And I would say nowadays that's pretty fair. That's what I'm able to get silver for. Now, of course, I'm not talking about silver eagles. I'm not referring to high premium coins. I'm talking about low premium silver. I'm talking about the rounds, the bars, the generics, even some 90%. I know some people are experiencing 90% carrying dramatically higher premiums. That is not something that I'm seeing at the local coin shop and that's not something I'm hearing from too many people. The one thing that you have to do is figure out where you can get the best bang for your buck. You gotta remember and you gotta remind yourself and, and really just drill it into your own head. It doesn't matter what you're stacking. It doesn't matter if it's a sunshine bar, a buffalo round. It doesn't matter if it's a silver eagle, a silver maple, a philharmonic, 90%, 40%, 80%, three nines fine, four nines fine, 25 ounce bars, half ounce bars. None of that matters. What you have to figure out is where you can get the best bang for your buck in all of the different ways that you could be stacking. Whether it's smaller denominations, larger denominations, higher levels of purity, lower levels of purity, you gotta just figure out where you can get the most silver for your dollars, where you can get the most money for your currency, where you can get the most wealth for your debt note 
$1 bills. It doesn't matter what you're stacking. Right now, personally, I'm able to get the most silver by stacking 90%. If the tables ever turn and 90% becomes a little bit more expensive than generic silver, for example, at my local coin shop, then guess what? I'm gonna be going after generic silver. It doesn't matter to me what I'm stacking. All that matters to me is whether or not it's silver and whether or not it's where I can get the best bang for my buck. If that's where I can get the best possible deal, that's what I'm going to stack. And very similar goes for gold, by the way. Although gold, it's weird. For those of us who are stacking silver and maybe silver is our precious metal of choice, we might not be overly enthusiastic about stacking gold or we might not be too lasered in or dialed in on the beautiful yellow metal. I know I'm not. I should be a little bit more focused on gold. I do believe silver deserves far more focus than gold, but I should be stacking a little bit more gold than I've been. And it, at the moment, it's just because I, I see way more of an opportunity in silver right now, especially with today's spot price. But then again, gold's down quite a bit as well. Gold is down, you know, not only right below $1,900 where we've seen it kind of dip from time to time, but right now we're looking at 1857. That's not bad. I'm pretty sure nowadays at today's spot price of gold, I don't know for sure, but you could probably get an ounce of gold for under $2,000 total, premium included. I don't know 100%. I've never in my life converted my dollars into a full troy ounce of gold before, but I'm a big fan of gold, and I would like to go after some new gold in the next month or so. So hopefully spot price stays low, but either way, in the meantime, while I'm waiting and saving up for my next gold coin, I've been saving up for a while, work my way up to a buck, while I'm saving up for gold. I will be continuing to stack silver, and right now, like I said before, the best bang for my buck at the moment is on 90% silver. More specifically, Washington quarters. Seems like a pretty math, seems like a pretty simple conclusion to come to. If those make the most sense, that's what I'm gonna stack the most of. That's what I've been doing for the last year and a half, and that's honestly what I'm probably going to continue doing for the next year and a half until something changes or until a new opportunity presents itself but those are just some of my thoughts on the spot price right now with the spot price of silver being $22.12 I wouldn't really be a bit surprised if spot price goes lower than that uh, I'm very surprised that it has gone as low as it did and to be honest with you I'm really not complaining about it I've been saying it for the longest time I was like I don't really think spot price is going to go much lower than the mid 20s. Uh, if it does, it'd be fantastic. I hope it does. I just don't know if I necessarily believe that it will. And now we're seeing silver in the low 20s. So I'm getting even more excited over here. I'm 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 pretty enthusiastic and I'm I'm looking forward to this. I'm I'm really looking forward to my next visit to the local coin shop. Cuz if we're looking at, you know, roughly $22 an ounce silver according to the spot price with an average premium of roughly $4 over spot that just means I can get a full troy ounce of silver for 26 bucks. That's not bad. Premium included, $26. If you believe in silver, if you believe that it's going to be going in an upward direction long term, if you're in it for decades to come, if you're in it for years, decades, potentially even generations to come, you don't worry about the premiums right now. Like I said in a video from a couple weeks ago, $22 an ounce silver with a $4 premium is no different than $26 an ounce silver at spot. It's all like a sales tactic if you think about it. It's almost like the free shipping thing. You can you can, you can pay $20 and pay $2 shipping or you can pay $22 and get free shipping. It's the same thing in my eyes. I don't let that bother me. I don't let that bug me. That's not something that I worry about. The only thing I worry about, the only thing I focus on, the only thing that I am lasered in and dialed in on is the silver. That's what I'm going after. I will continue going after it. Unfortunately, I can't really do it in a very exciting way because I get the same type of silver over and over and over again, which by the way, for the record, is exciting to me, but it's not like I get anything new or different or fresh that I can unbox or, 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 or make
make a video reviewing. But either way, I'm working on the stack. I'm working on stacking it sky high, and I'm going to continue doing so regardless of the spot price, regardless of the premiums. But now that it's lower than it was last week, I'm going to be trying to capitalize on it even more. So I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. When it comes to the spot price being in the $22 an ounce range, looking like it might go under $22. Maybe today. It might happen. Like I said, that's just as I'm filming the video. God only knows what it's going to be later in the day or by the time I post the video. Friendly reminder. Let me know in the comments what the spot price of silver is as you're viewing it. But I also want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what is your stacking strategy right now? Are you focusing on low premium silver? Are you focusing on you know higher premium coins at the moment? Maybe you're not even focused on silver right now. Maybe you're focused more on gold. Just because gold is a little bit more expensive right now and, and, and carries a high, higher premium per troy ounce than silver does, percentage wise, the premiums on gold aren't really anything to complain about. Silver premiums are a little bit wacky. Gold premiums, I would say they're actually pretty fair. It just kind of throws you off because the spot price is so dramatically higher. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel in the biggest possible way. We got t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, coffee mugs, and a bunch of different designs. And a lot of the products are helping us raise some funds and awareness for different charity organizations, by the way. DYDSS store will be linked in the description. Come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club, which is where I do giveaways every single month, live streams multiple times a week, deal alerts on silver and gold almost every single day. You can watch all of my videos early and commercial free, and every Saturday morning I post a brand new vlog. There are a ton of other perks as well. VIP Club link in the description. I guarantee you the value exceeds the cost. And of course, last but certainly not least, Make sure to go and get your five free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Normally, it's two free stocks. They bumped it up to five, and this is very time sensitive, so capitalize on that while you can. You can deposit as little as a penny, and you still get your free stocks. I know. That's what I did. If you refer one friend, Weeble is going to give you 10 free random stocks. You only have a couple days left to do this, and you can do it 10 times. If you refer 10 friends, they give you 100 free random stocks. And that's part of their advertising budget, by the way, rather than wasting currency on billboards and TV commercials, they reward their users for helping them build their app with them. And then, of course, the brand new promo for the month of May. You have the entire month to refer just two friends. That's it. Two people that you know. And Weeble's going to give you either a free share of Starbucks worth about 70 something dollars, a free share of Apple worth about 150 something dollars, or a free share of Google worth over $2,000. It's whatever you get, but again, you win either way. Weeble link in the description. Time is running out. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? When it comes to the spot price of silver, moving in a downward direction, we're seeing silver in the $22 an ounce range. I posted a video about that last week, but... Spot price at the time was like $22.93 or something like that. Sure, it was in the $22 an ounce range, but it was clearly far closer to $23 and $22. Today, $22.12. We're only a couple of cents away from falling out of the $22 an ounce range into the $21 an ounce range. So what are your thoughts on that right there? Do you think spot price is going to sink down below $22 an ounce? Do you think we're going to see the spot price say $21.99 potentially today or sometime this week? And of course, what is your current stacking strategy? Are you going after the lowest possible premium coins, rounds, or bars that you can get your hands on? Are you saving up the cash to get larger pieces of silver, maybe kilo bars or 50 ounce bars to break down the premiums? Maybe you're not even worried about silver nowadays because of the premiums and you're focusing more on gold. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.